Dr. Shannon Clark here. I am a double board certified OBGYN and maternal fetal medicine specialist. And I got this uh, message, message in my DMs. Can you do a video on herpes and pregnancy? Like when is, when is a C-section recommended? I sure can. Genital herpes or HSV can be uh, caused by HSV-1 or HSV-2. There are three different types of infection. Primary infection means it's the first uh, infection and you've never had any exposure to HSV-1 or HS HSV-2 and there's no antibodies present in your body. A non-primary first episode means you have antibodies to HSV-1, but you get a primary infection with HSV-2 or vice versa. A recurrent infection means you have either HSV-1 or 2, you've already had your primary episode, but then you have a subsequent uh, outbreak. Now there is a risk of vertical transmission of the infection from the patient to the neonate during the course of labor if there are, are active lesions present during the course of labor. However, most people who have neonates that get this vertical transmission of uh, HSV, of an HSV infection, have no clinically evident signs or have never had any signs of lesions before. And the greatest risk uh, of infection or transmission to the neo neonate is if a primary infection is present at the time of labor. If a patient has a primary or a recurrent episode of herpes in pregnancy, it needs to be treated with an antiviral uh, medication. And we have those available like acyclovir. If a patient has HSV and has had lesions before and they go through their pregnancy with no uh, recurrent outbreaks, then you offer them suppression at 36 weeks of pregnancy in anticipation of uh, delivery coming soon. If a primary outbreak happens to occur in the third trimester, uh, then you can consider treating that primary episode but continuing the medication until delivery. If a patient at the time of delivery has active lesions or prodromal symptoms, and most patients who have had HSV lesions in the past can tell when a recurrent outbreak is coming on. If that's the case, either one of those, those situations, then a cesarean delivery is recommended. If the patient has a history of HSV lesions and at the time of delivery there's no lesions present and there's no prodromal symptoms, then a cesarean delivery is not required. If a primary episode or a non-primary first episode occur in the third trimester, then ACOG says this, cesarean delivery may be offered due to the possibility of prolonged viral shedding. If the lesions happen to be on the patient's back, thigh, or uh, buttocks, then you can cover those lesions and proceed uh, with an, an SVD. Um, if the lesions are on the perineum or on the labia or in the vaginal vault or anywhere in that area, then um, you should proceed with a cesarean delivery. That about sums it up. If you have more questions, put them in the comments.